I'm Jane Loomis. Uh, I live in um, Columbia City, Indiana on a small farm that we built from, from a soybean corn field that we put up our own barns and started farming when we were old enough to know better. And um, we decided to work with a sorg SARE grant on sweet sorghum syrup. It was something we were interested in growing and we partnered with three or four other farms and uh, tried to dis determine whether it's a sustainable product that you can do on small farms, you know, with small amount of labor and not much equipment. Sorghum is a grain, but it is also, it grows in a cane like sugar, it looks a lot like corn, but with a seed head on top instead of a tassel. And it um, is uh, drought resistant and grown pretty much all over the world. But the cane can be pressed. You can use the grain on the top if it ripens, but before that, if you cut the, the grain off the top, the grain head off the top, you have a cane similar to sugar cane. It can be pressed into a juice and then evaporated into a great sweet syrup. We actually take it to an Amish farmer who has a steam press and a steam driven press and evaporator and we uh, grow the cane, we harvest it, haul it to Middlebury, Indiana, which is northern Indiana, about an hour from here in trailers and he presses it for us and bottles it. So it's all done um, in a short time. Sorghum has a wonderful flavor. It has lots of minerals and vitamins in it, and it is um, <clears throat> much more sustainable. It um, presses out like seven gallons of juice, makes a gallon of, of uh, syrup. And that compares to, say, maple syrup, which is about 40 to 1. So it's a, it's a lot easier from that standpoint. Uh, our last honey year drip. we grew uh, honey drip, and that's just, what we're going to grow this yeah. year. It did, did real well, stood good for us. We only had one year that it ever went down on us, and that was the first year. It was down by it, the wind. Yeah, it goes down Watched. by the wind. And we learned a little bit down at the uh, sorghum conference about how to handle that. Mm -hmm. They had stuff go through a tornado and never went down, or a hurricane and never went down. but. Their, their idea is topping it about a week before they harvest. So, so that's, take when, that's the, when the head gets real heavy and it wants to fall over. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if they get that top, then they'll that's stand for two or three weeks without no, they could have, they said they had a hurricane go through and never blew game down. Yeah. So. Good, it's a good crop for small acreage use and it's, e you're, it's easy to handle. And the more we do it, that is true, we're better yeah. You know, you start to realize, oh yeah, this helps with the blowdown. This helps with the, and we'll plant the same kind now as Yuri. Yuri Miller, we process it. So they were on the same page as him. He's going to be ready. His equipment will be ready because he's got his acreage to process. So you start to, everything starts to get in sync. The biggest problem has been the marketing. In other words, the, the planting, growing, it's, it's as we good as kind of any, any yeah. crop. Uh, my role with the project has been um, working uh, with the farmers who are uh, private family farming on, on some of the educational aspects of um, sharing um, the news about sorghum kind of in the community and hosting an event at Mary Lee that the public can come to and showcase the product and the process. We are marketing it to s small businesses in the area, places that make caramel corn popcorn, butcher shops. Um, we're working on developing a barbecue sauce based on that. We use it um, in granola and breads that we sell at the farmer's market. Um, and then of course we, a lot of people buy it because that's how they make molasses cookies. They use it on pancakes. You know, you mix it with butter, it, put it on biscuits, it's wonderful. So it, it's really kind of, we're trying to re-educate the public on a, you know, a product that has been used since the 1800s, but has sort of fallen out of favor because sugar, white sugar is so cheap.